The Losing Winner, a weekly review of completed design contests where we try to figure out something very important. What the hell were they thinking? Hello, Gary Simon here of designcourse.com and welcome to episode two of The Losing Winner where we'll delve into the soulless practice of design crowdsourcing. All right, let's get started here. First, we have Porteus. This person won $200 and 81 designs were submitted from 25 designers and holy metallic Batman. What the hell is happening here? Between the various hand tools depicted in the intense gradients, I feel as though I'm looking at my father's tool shed from behind half open window blinds. This is not how you use gradients in a logo design, and this is certainly not how you depict symbolism in a logo design. Trying to literally depict and convey every aspect of a business is exactly how you get people not to remember your brand. Simplicity and being unique is what you should strive for as a logo designer. Let's look at some of the other losers. This one, much better for obvious reasons. This one, even though it's not great and the type could definitely use some work, if we look at them, both are definitely better than this abomination. Let's take a look at our second project, QA Scientific. This person won $160. 33 logo designs were submitted from 19 designers. The obvious problem here is the type in that their copy of Illustrator apparently expired and they had to resort to using MS Word to finish the rest of the logo. But it's even worse than that. Perhaps it was in a fit of rage during a drunken stupor. This designer didn't even bother changing the default Times New Roman font. In all seriousness, this looks lazy and slapped together, yet they won. Let's look at some of the other losers. This one, yep, loser. This one, even though some issues in terms of clutter, they're both superior to the winning design. So you guys just wasted your time completely. All right, so let's look at ALS. This guy won $160 and 32 designs were submitted from 15 designers. Now I've saved the best for last. Now upon first glance, you're really not sure what to make of it. Between the spray gun and the orange reindeer antlers, you're left wondering if this company has something to do with using intense psychotropic drugs while hunting. I'm not gonna insult any of my viewers' intelligence by talking about why this logo is bad. Instead, I'll show you some other terrible entries that are still 1,000 times better than this thing in front of us. Take this one, the whole side swooshing arced logo approach. About 415,000 company use a similar iteration, but still, this is far superior than the first. Or take this entry. Now, if you know anything about design contests, you'll know that you have at least five asshole designers who submit this exact concept with the arch going through the center of the business initials thing. Yes, even this one is still better than the winning design. Or how about this entry? This guy, he just said, fuck it. I'm not even gonna bother changing the template to reflect the business name. I'm just gonna straight up submit this template. And yes, even this one is still better than the winning design. Even to the point at which I would say it would be wiser for the business owner to change their name from ALS to company name just so they could use this logo and not have to slap this abomination as the visual representation of their business. Uh, and that is it for this week. Hopefully you've come out more as a wise designer and decide not to waste your time by submitting to these god-awful design contests. Have some dignity. Now as always, I'm Gary Simon of designcourse.com. Subscribe here on YouTube and check out the site and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.